Welcome to the 2024 Wild Card Series presented by T-Mobile 5G Home Internet. Get internet how you want it. And welcome to Baltimore. The Orioles ready to host the Kansas City Royals in game one of this best of three American League Wild Card Series. It's a gray and damp day here in Charm City. Neither team took batting practice, but the tarp is off the field, and we should start on time. Bobby Witt leads the Royals into the postseason for the first time since 2015 against the Orioles and Gunnar Henderson. They're in the playoffs for the second year in a row. The calendars flip to October, and the best time of the season is about to begin. As the autumn sun sets, the wild card stage ignites. There's so much on the line tonight. A wild one. The stakes rage like flames. Raw and fierce. Catch fire. And forge your name in history. History World Series champs. These boys of summer don't want to leave. The Royals. The Royals win the game. Incredible. And the Orioles. It's high. It's deep. It's gone. Best of three. Let them cook. And they are ready for postseason baseball here in Baltimore. And welcome everybody to the playoffs. Sean McDonald along with Jess Mendoza and Ben McDonald. Delighted to have you with us. Last year when the Orioles made the playoffs for the first time since 2016, they were just two seasons removed from their third 100 loss campaign in four years. This year, it's Kansas City that's done even one better. Last year, they lost 106 games, but here they are in the playoffs with a 30-win improvement and just similar recent histories for these two teams and both led by one of the great talents in the game at shortstop. Oh, boy, so we got to see the two best all-around shortstops go head-to-head -head, and then Young Cups, too. You look at 24, 23 years old and what they've been able to do with their versatility, not just with the glove as shortstop, but starting Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals. I mean, you think about him being the best all-around player in the game, not main show him. I'm Tani, the speed, the slug, he'll flash the glove as well. He's got so much versatility as an athlete at such a young age, at 24 years old. And you look at all the different things and categories that he is top five in baseball, batting average, hits, runs, OPS. And by the way, first shortstop in MLB history with multiple 30, 30 seasons. He's done it twice now in just his first three years. Then. On the flip side, Gunnar Henderson for the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, you look at his ranks in the American League, he's top 10 in every category. The one that stands out to me the most is that war, what the value that he brings to this Orioles team. These were two teams that struggled to hit down the stretch. The Orioles for most of the second half of the season. The Royals, particularly in September, and when you're struggling to hit, you don't want to see these two starting pitchers, two of the hottest in baseball at the end of the year. Yeah, I mean, that's what, if we get the best two shortstops, we may have the two hottest starting pitchers in all of Major League Baseball right now. Cole Reagans in his very first year as a full-time starter, he has not disappointed. 11 wins on the season. How about 223 strikeouts? That's fifth best in Major League Baseball. And boy, did he ever finish strong. The month of September, his last four starts, an ERA just above one. Corbin Burns has been everything the Orioles hoped he would be when they traded for him way back on February the 1st. It was a struggle for him in the month of August, there's no doubt. Probably the worst struggle of his career, 7 ERA. But, boy, did he finish strong, too. His last six starts, a 1-3 ERA. And you can find him in the top 10 in just about every category when it comes to starting pitchers. They had a chance to celebrate their regular season success. And now, these two teams are October ready. Back in Baltimore. Game one of this American League Wild Card Series. The starting lineups are brought to you by Cologuard. Get more information at cologuard.com. 
mentioned the Royals' struggles to hit down the stretch, in large part because they were without Vinny Pasquantino. Royals fans will be delighted as they look at this lineup to see that he is back in the lineup for the first time since late August, recovering from thumb surgery. They're two, three, and four with Junior Pasquantino and Perez as good as any in baseball. When they are healthy, they'll take their swings against the 29-year-old right-hander from California, Corbin Burns. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Burns has been outstanding, making his 33rd start of the year. Career-high wins, 15. You see where that's at, the ERA, seventh bench in Major League Baseball. He's done some little bit of tweaking to his arsenal, so he's thrown a little bit of sweeper here in the month of September, but the cutter is still the best pitch for Corbin Burns. First year in Baltimore, they brought him over in February for Milwaukee in a big trade to be their ace. This is what they had in mind, starting game one of the postseason. He's ready to go, and this series is underway. For the fastball just above the knees for strike one, 